Well, the Grizzlies close out their home schedule this evening, hosting Golden State at the garage. There have been plenty of negatives concerning the Grizzlies this season. Eight wins in 48 games, the conditioning of Brian Reeves, the injuries to the likes of Doug West and Lee Mayberry. But if there has been a silver lining, it would have to be the emergence of Mike Bibby, who reflects on his rookie season and fatherhood with Barry McDonald. I've always wanted a son, and you know I got one now, and I've always wanted to be in the NBA, and I got that now. You know, just dreams, you know, coming true, and I wouldn't trade for anything. It's encouraging that this nightmarish season has been a dream come true for Michael Bibby. 16-month-old Michael Dane has had a lot to do with that, but the other part of the equation has been his adjustment to the NBA. He has been everything the Grizzlies hoped he would be. He has been everything Michael Jordan said he would be who labeled Bibby his best pro to be before he was even drafted. What did Michael Jordan see in Michael Bibby to go out on a limb and say something like that? I, I don't know. I mean, I, he said, I guess I've heard that he, you know, he likes my work ethic and, you know, that I'm quiet out there on the court and, you know, I just get the job done, you know, as easy as possible. I, I guess that's why, but I really can't tell what's in his mind. Nobody was quite sure what was in Michael Bibby's mind after he was drafted here last June. There was the uncomfortable scene the day after he was selected when he was asked whether he was happy to be here. <laughs> they didn't want me to say nothing. I mean, I'll be fine. I mean, I think I'll, I'll have to adjust. It would be something that I have to adjust to. Well, nearly one year later, Bibby says yes, he is happy to be here, that his disappointment stemmed from not being the first player picked overall. I mean, I, I like it here a lot. You know, I mean, the fans are real, the fans are great. And, you know, I like playing here. It, I mean, even though we haven't been winning, we still have a lot of people at the games, you know I mean? That shows the appreciation that they have for us. And, you know I mean? Hopefully by next year we can show it back by getting some more wins. Despite all the losing, and remember, Bibby has lost more games this one season than in two years of college and four years of high school, he remains upbeat. And for that, the Grizzlies PR department is thankful. Bibby makes himself available for public appearances like this one recently at a West Vancouver elementary school. This is perfect for me. I'll hope on, hop on the bus and I'll be there by three. Thank you. But his popularity isn't limited to this area. The Bibby jersey is one of the hottest selling around the league, and the NBA would seem to have what it needs more of, a role model, off the court and on it, where Bibby shows remarkable cool despite all the adversity. That's different from what I used to do when I was younger in high school. And, and I always used to talk trash you know, to the refs, really? to the other team, to the crowd. And I mean, that's just the way I play. You know, I was young. About 15, 16 years old, you know, playing on varsity. So, I mean, I, I guess you could say I was a little, you know, a little bit cocky, but, you know, my mom stuck it to me good and told me, you know, just keep my mush, mouth shut and go, uh, go out there and play. Lessons well learned, lessons now being handed down. <laughs> oh.